Good morning. Welcome to Live at Five with Pastor Ben. Glad you're tuning in today. Well, it is a dreary day in Durango. This might be one of the days in Durango that we don't see the sun, which is very, very rare. Um, kind of neat to have every once in a while. I don't know. The change of pace makes you uh, appreciate it when you get the sun all the time. Um, I, 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 I don't know how people live in places like Seattle or, you know, uh, London or, you know, where it's really, really rainy, like all the time. I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, oh, we have a fun text for today. Do we have a fun one? Um, context will be important for us today in our live for five moment. I have an, um, an appointment shortly after Live for Five in Ignacio. And because I'm going to Ignacio, it, it was helpful for me to be that much closer to it than instead of at the office at my house. So that's why we're here today. But let us make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. If you pull out the Version Bible app or you go to Bible.com, our verse of the day comes from Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby put me to the test says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the, hev the, win the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. Now, this Malachi text is, it's unique. First off, you have this mention of bring the full tithe into the storehouse. The concept of the tithe was that 10% of your earnings or whatever you produced would be uh, an offering to the Lord. And then he says that there may be food in my house. The reason that it was brought to the house was first as a thanks to God, but also to take care of the priests. That was how they were then fed. But then we have this interesting conversation about this testing. God invited the people of that day to test him. If they would bring in all their tithe into the storehouse, God would open the windows of heaven and bless them immensely, which means that he would allow it to rain. Well, this idea of God testing man is rather common in the Old Testament. You see it in Genesis 22. You see it in the Psalms quite a bit. You see it in Proverbs. But the idea of man testing God, this is rare. You know, you, you have Isaiah invited Ahaz to ask him for a sign. So that's, that's human to human. Gideon puts on the fleece and God honors his request. It's not a test, it's a request. God gave Moses signs to increase his faith and the faith of the people. God sent fire from heaven in an answer to Elijah's prayer on Carmel. But those, even those are unusual and special circumstances. It may be that this passage in Malachi should be understood as, as a one-time special act of God on God's part to renew the fires of faith in this age of skepticism and indifference within the context of Malachi. But we should not presume that... God's going to bestow exactly what we think we need simply because we put him to the test. Um, we should not test God unless he invites us. And uh, we can just simply say that that is highly unlikely. God's challenge to the people is unusual. In fact, it's the only example in scripture of God giving humans permission to to test him in this way. Um, in fact, in other places in scripture, God forbids it. 
Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 16, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test as you tested him at Massah. Also, you have uh, Jesus quoting this, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus said, again, it is written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. So, this probably isn't the greatest text for the YouVersion Bible app to pick because its ability to apply to us is uh, a little bit harder. But there are a few things that we can take away from this text. First, bring your tithe into the storehouse. Maybe maybe we don't function under this traditional model of the tithe, but it, this this would be a helpful text for you to meditate on leading into our gospel text for Sunday from Matt, Mark chapter 10, where money is the topic. And it's more of how we think about money, how we use money. Are we, are we trusting in only our ability to use money and have money? Or are we trusting in God to supply? So bring it into the storehouse, bring it into the church. Um, that there may be food in my house, that there may be funds to take care of things in the church. And then the rest of this is is a very prosperity gospel. And we'll, we'll just leave this to the context of Malachi and, and not try to push it too much farther than that. What we can say, though, is God has opened the windows of heaven. He has blessed us immensely. Um, a little preview for Sunday is uh, if you have a choice of shoes to put on and you can decide what you're going to have for dinner, you are wealthier than 80% of the world and uh, possibly more. So we're immensely blessed. Let's give thanks to God for that and release the abundance of treasures that God has given to us to further the kingdom and take care of people in need. Let us pray. Lord of heaven and earth, we pray that you would move our hearts to honor you with our earthly offerings while keeping our eyes fixed on you and your eternal blessings as well, most especially the ones we have through your son. We pray, pray this in your son's most holy and precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, have a wonderful day in the Lord. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for more time in God's words. Stay dry out there. Stay warm. See you soon.